Hey everybody, this is Omniverse XR. It's an app that allows you to jump into all of your 3D assets using a VR headset or a tablet. It's fully ray traced so you get all these soft shadows and real reflections for free. On top of that, you don't need to do any pre-processing to import large scenes, you can just grab them as you work. So you can use Omniverse XR to glance into production assets, check on your work in progress to see if it makes sense spatially, or, you know, just to have fun. So let's have a look at the app. Now, if you used any app in the Omniverse ecosystem, this should be familiar. You have a viewport, you have a console, a content browser, and then you also have two new windows, VR and tablet AR. These menus go quite deep. They customize all of your VR and AR experience, and you can read about all the settings in the Omniverse documentation online. If you don't want to search the address for the Omniverse documentation website, you can always go to it. It's right there in the home panel. You can also, through the home panel, just start and stop VR and AR modes. And also, if you set a player position start in your scene, if you click the home button, it'll take you there. Speaking of, let's start VR by clicking the VR headset. So this is what the interface looks like inside VR. You don't have any panels except for the VR controller, and that's also not visible when you have the headset on. But you do have tooltips on your controllers, and you can remove them if you want by hitting the menu button and clicking on show tooltips, and that removes them. The menu does some other things. For example, it changes the uh, quality of the render settings. So right now we're in stage quality. As we turn it to performance, Performance makes some of the materials go away, like the translucent ones, and it makes shadows and reflections, uh, drives them to the minimal settings, so they're affecting the performance of your frame times. There's a balance setting that's sort of in between performance and quality, and quality gives you all the materials and a good amount of reflections. You can always modify them manually by going to stage and changing the render settings yourself. Now let's try something else. Let's teleport somewhere. You use the right controller with a joystick to teleport, use the up button, but then your left controller can be used to move through some things if you can't teleport to them. Once you're done with that, you can teleport again. To go up and down, all you need to do is tilt your controller upwards a little bit, and then use the forwards and backwards controllers on the joystick to go up and down. But most of the time, teleporting is really useful. Let's go over there. In most VR applications, you can use the controller grip button to grab things. Omniverse XR does that as well, and we do that with a lot of fine ray casts, so you have a very good precision on what you're grabbing. Now, if you want to grab something that's far away, you can enter the select tool, select something, then hit the grab button, and then you can move it around. The joystick can also rotate at the same time and bring something closer and further away from you. You can also grab some things to go. Just uh, hit the grab button and start moving. You can use the trigger on the controller to move a lot faster. That really helps if you're navigating huge scenes. And that's the thing, you can really import huge scenes into Omniverse XR. For example, this parking lot with all the cars has 10 billion polygons. So that's your crash course in using the VR mode in Omniverse XR. Come check out the documentation online or come talk to us on the Omniverse forums or the Omniverse Discord. This app is a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy using it as much as we enjoyed making it. Thanks so much for watching.